Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video will show the creation of one out of three 5x5 five five paintings that I did for a show with the Ben Gallery. So for this painting, I had taken several reference photos of my wife's eye, and I wanted to make it a double exposure piece with another photo of some wild grass. And after working on this image in Photoshop for a few days, it was time to paint it. And I luckily realized before even starting this piece that it'd be best to do it in a few different layers. So what I'm working on right now is a lot of the background colors and shapes that I'm seeing in the photo reference. And even though the piece doesn't look very good right away, I'm taking my time and trusting the process. Just making sure that all these little pieces go exactly where they should and look exactly how I think they should. So for the most part, I'm just laying down big areas of color, smoothing them out, and then softening the edges around them. And because I have such a strong photo reference as a guide, I'm not as worried about the current state of the piece. Rather, I'm just thinking about what steps I can take to make it look as much like my reference photo as possible. And once I had gotten to the stage where I put down the base colors of the eye, I considered this the end of the first layer, and I was ready to go into the more detailed second layer. And in this layer is where you'll really start to see the details and textures of the grass coming through. Essentially, each blade of grass had its own gradient of color that was showing the colors and shadows of the skin below it. This way, you had the shapes of the grass outlining the colors and textures of her skin. And believe me, I know that painting this grass can seem very tedious. But once they start to fill the piece, they create a really amazing effect. I really feel like the shape and movement of this grass creates an effect like a piece of paper has been torn and shredded into pieces. And for me, what really pulls this piece together is all the small and textured highlights that sort of lighten up the painting as a whole and allow your eye to wander across it. So, while I put the final brush strokes on this piece, I would love to tell you more about it. Now, I love painting people's eyes in general, but I especially love painting my wife's eye for this piece. I've been looking at her eyes almost every day for over 12 years now, and her eyes are so unbelievably expressive when she's feeling strong emotions. But I wanted to use her eye in this painting as a sort of gateway to her outlook on life. Because every day, she not only uses these eyes to see all the good in the world, but also the evil. And as much as she sometimes wants to close them to all the pain and suffering that she sees, she keeps them wide open and does her best to stay vulnerable to the outside world. Taking in all that the world has to offer, and refusing to flinch at its horrifying beauty. So, I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this piece, titled Wide Open. As of the recording of this video, it's still available for purchase from a Ben Gallery. And prints of it are available on my website, which is austinhowlett.com. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.